okay, in this video we are going to see how to make a xy plot in ansys fluent let us open the ansys workbench and create ansys fluent analysis system after creating this analysis system right click the geometry and open the design modeler So for this example I have selected a case of a mixing pipe so in the xy plane create a simple pipe like structure so go to sketching and create a rectangle and draw a rectangle for 1 meter length and then give the dimensions this is 1 meters and let us take the diameter of the pipe as 0.1 meters okay let us create a junction here i am drawing a rectangle over here here i am creating a t junction let us give the dimensions as 0.3 meters and the diameter as the same 0.1 meter let us have the length of the pipe as 0.15 meters okay now let us trim the geometry which is which is inside the domain okay now let us convert this sketch into a surface surface has been created now so now we can go to the meshing and give the name selections double click the mesh to open the meshing software okay now let us take the assumption here the water is getting in a cold water is getting in and here a hot water is getting in uh, and both the waters mixes here and leaves out through this outlet so we have to give two inlets and one outlet let us name this part as cold inlet and this inlet as hot inlet and this side as outlet and go to the meshing and give element size as 0.01 okay now the mesh has been created and now go to the fluent we so click the setup double the setup fluent will be open okay as our project involves temperature we have to enable the energy equation so as to include the temperature and let us give the turbulence model as k epsilon standard model and go to the materials here we have to give water so double click that and go to fluent database
there we can see water liquid select that and copy it now go to this cell zone conditions and give the surface body as fluid and that is water so change that to water liquid now we have fixed the whole domain as water now go to the boundary conditions here we have a cold inlet the cold inlet is specified as velocity inlet so that's right it is give a 0.1 meters per second of velocity and let us give the default temperature as 300 kelvin and let us open the hot inlet let us have the same 0.1 meter per second velocity here but the temperature here should be higher so let us give 400 temperature here 400 kelvin So let us leave the outlet as pressure outlet. So that means the atmospheric pressure will be applied there. And now go to initialization and use hybrid initialization. And after that, run the calculation. I think within 100 iterations it will converge. Yes, at 78 iteration the solution is converged. So now we can see the plot, we can see the results as we are interested in the temperature contour. Go to temperature and give the interior surface body. Now we can see the temperature contour here. Initially the water's temperature is 300 Kelvin. After that, at, after they reaching the junction, there is a inlet of hot uh, inlet at 400 degree celsius degree kelvin and both mixes here and uh, it leaves out through the pressure outlet here so if you are interested to plot the pressure plot the temperature at the center of this pipeline we have to create a line here so let us create a line create a line like the line and here this is the x0 and y0 but we want to create a point here so here the, the x is 0 and y is the whole dimension is 0 0.1 so here the x is 0 and y is 0 0.05 and the next point is here here the x is 1 meters because the total length of the pipe is 1 meters so so the x is 1 meters and the y is the same 0 0.05 meters here 0 0.05 and this is named as line for temperature contour plots and open the xy plot so now give the temperature in the results y axis function and uh, select the line for temperature output so here keep x in the x axis and keep the temperature in the y axis so now if you click the plot we can see the plot here initially it was 300 degrees celsius 300 degree kelvin and at the junction it reaches a maximum temperature and again it drops down at the middle center axis so this is how we have to make a plot of xy using angst fluid we can also uh, take the xy data of these points to plot a graph in somewhere else by using the write to file option if you click write to file option the xy data will be downloaded as xy files 
we can download that and we can use that later